Charles Robert Darwin was born in Shrewsbury, Shropshire, on February 12, 1809, at his family's home, the Mount. He was the fifth of six children of wealthy society doctor and financier Robert Darwin and Susanna Darwin. His grandfathers Erasmus Darwin and Josiah Wedgwood were both prominent abolitionists. Erasmus Darwin had praised general concepts of evolution and common descent in his Zoonomia, a poetic fantasy of gradual creation including undeveloped ideas anticipating concepts his grandson expanded. Both families were largely Unitarian, though the Wedgwoods were adopting Anglicanism. Robert Darwin, himself quietly a freethinker, had baby Charles baptized in November 1809 in the Anglican St. Chad's Church, Shrewsbury, but Charles and his siblings attended the Unitarian Chapel with their mother. The eight-year-old Charles already had a taste for natural history and collecting when he joined the day school run by its preacher in 1817. That July, his mother died. From September 1818, he joined his older brother Erasmus in attending the nearby Anglican Shrewsbury School as a boarder. Darwin spent the summer of 1825 as an apprentice doctor, helping his father treat the poor of Shropshire, before going to the University of Edinburgh Medical School with his brother Erasmus in October 1825. Darwin found lectures dull and surgery distressing, so he neglected his studies. He learned taxidermy in around 40 daily hour-long sessions from John Edmund Stone, a freed black slave who had accompanied Charles Waterden in the South American rainforest. In Darwin's second year at the university, he joined the Plenian Society, a student natural history group featuring lively debates in which radical democratic students with materialistic views challenged orthodox religious concepts of science. He assisted Robert Edmund Grant's investigations of the anatomy and life cycle of marine invertebrates in the Firth of Forth, and on March 27, 1827 presented at the Pliny in his own discovery that black spores found in oyster shells were the eggs of a skate leech. One day, Grant praised Lamarck's evolutionary ideas. Darwin was astonished by Grant's audacity, but had recently read similar ideas in his grandfather Erasmus' journals. Darwin was rather bored by Robert Jameson's natural history course which covered geology, including the debate between Neptunism and Plutonism. He learned the classification of plants, and assisted with work on the collections of the University Museum, one of the largest museums in Europe at the time. Darwin's neglect of medical studies annoyed his father, who shrewdly sent him to Christ College, Cambridge, to study for a Bachelor of Arts degree as the first step towards becoming an Anglican country parson. As Darwin was unqualified for the tripos, he joined the Ordinary Degree course in January 1828. He preferred writing and shooting to studying. During the first few months of Darwin's enrollment at Christ College, his second cousin William Darwin Fox was still studying there. Fox impressed him with his butterfly collection, introducing Darwin to entomology and influencing him to pursue beetle collecting. He did this zealously, and had some of his finds published in James Francis Stevens' Illustrations of British Entomology. Through Fox, Darwin became a close friend and follower of botany professor John Stevens Henslow. He met other leading parson naturalists who saw scientific work as religious natural theology, becoming known to these dons as the man who walks with Henslow. When his own exams drew near, Darwin applied himself to his studies and was delighted by the language and logic of William Paley's Evidences of Christianity. In his final examination in January 1831 Darwin did well, coming 10th out of 178 candidates for the ordinary degree. Darwin had to stay at Cambridge until June 1831. He studied Paley's natural theology or evidences of the existence and attributes of the deity, which made an argument for divine design in nature, explaining adaptation as God acting through laws of nature. He read John Herschel's new book, Preliminary Discourse on the Study of Natural Philosophy, which described the highest aim of natural philosophy as understanding such laws through inductive reasoning based on observation and Alexander von Humboldt's personal narrative of scientific travels in 1799-1804. Inspired with a burning zeal to contribute, Darwin planned to visit Tenerife with some classmates after graduation to study natural history in the tropics. In preparation, he joined Adam Sedgwick's geology course, then on 4th of August traveled with him to spend a fortnight mapping Strata in Wales. 